Hey, what is going on guys? It's Brandon here and today we're gonna to be working on the FRS. I forgot to record an intro for this. So basically I'm already in the process of working on the car, but we went ahead and got a fake Rockabunny V1 for a temporary wide body kit to fix the... Good thing this car is getting repainted. Um, so I got the fake Rocket Bunny kit to make the back end look better. Uh, you guys will see it in the video probably before uh, and then, then after, but the back end was crushed in when we got into an accident while drifting. So I just went ahead and got a Y body kit to cover it up. And that's what we're doing in this video is we're putting that on. So before this intro gets too long, let's just hop into the video. It's gonna be a little bit choppy because I'm already in the process of installing this. So yeah, let's just get into it. All right, so a little update with what's going on with the car right now. We went ahead and we cut both ends of the, both uh, quarter panels already, marked them up, cut them. They're about five, five and a half inches up, if I remember correctly. Sorry, it's been like a week since I've done this already, but just wanted to give you guys an update before we go forward. So um, we went ahead, cut this up like five or five and a half inches on both sides, went all the way down to here on uh, the line, and we might go down a little bit farther if we have to. We'll see. Uh, and then we went pretty far forward as well. This is way bigger than you'll ever need to do on a normal car uh, Normally you just follow this line right here But we went really high because on this side on this side of the car All of this was pretty much damaged anyway So we just wanted to cut as high up as possible and give us as much working room as we can That way we can get rid of this dent here, which we still need to get rid of uh, And then we wanted to get rid of this dent over here, which you guys might have somewhat saw um, the spray paint is kind of mismatched, but whatever it works um, But if you guys remember from before this was crushed in really badly to the point that this bumper wouldn't even fit properly uh, When we had our last bumper on but now it sits pretty all right And this all gets covered by a fender uh, the over fender anyway But we're gonna try and push out a little bit more because you might not be able to see it on camera Oh, yeah, you can see it right here. It's still dented in pretty far uh, we want to pull it as straight as possible uh, to have it flat like the other side. So that's what we're still working on with uh, this side. And I'm still waiting on a dent puller and a dent, I guess, compression thing. Uh, we used one back in one of the older videos. I can't remember which video it was, but, but we still need to get another one of those like uh, tools to get rid of dents and things and push all that back out before we go any farther. Once we have all that fixed, we can go ahead and fold over all of the inner fender and weld it. Uh, I'll have to pick up a welder as well because nobody wants to pick up the project to uh, weld this up for some reason. So, so I guess finding a shot for that is not the easiest thing ever. Uh, and then also in the back, we got the new rear bumper all fitted up, as you guys can see. Um, and it actually fits really well. We replaced all the hardware on both ends, so it fits as close as it should. Um, like it's not gonna get any better than this, at least on this side. Uh, on this side, like I said, the only issues that we have is this part right here. Still needs to get pulled out just a little bit, like maybe a mil, five mil, something like that. Not very much. Um, you can still see there's some like dents 
in small areas, but at the end of the day, it's a drift car. As long as it looks straight, that's all that matters. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on everything that's going on with the car. And I don't know if I'm going to finish it today because it's still cold as shit outside. But uh, once it gets warmer out, we'll probably finish this up, get all those dents removed. And that's just like my halfway through the video update. And I'll catch you guys on the other half. All right, so one of the GoPros took a shit, so that one's gone. Um, hopefully the image is good on this one. But update on the car, pulled off this tail light because when we finished up on the white body, we got the front and rear fenders on now. Um, we still need to, so we have the front and the rear fenders on now. We still need to do the bumper pieces as well, but I went ahead and slapped on the new tail lights. Um, I like them a lot. They're the V-Land uh, taillights, and so I, put, I went ahead and put those on while we were already here. And then once we get the back all welded up, we're going to go ahead and put the rear bumper on and slap the Y-body piece on the rear bumper and front bumper, and then we'll slap it all together. So I think that's going to be it for this video, though. So I'll catch you guys in the next one, and I might have a little clip after this, but that's it.